Hey guys, it's Carrie. Another interesting day at the zoo with lots more different animals. The jaguar's powerful bite allows it to pierce the carapace of turtles and tortoises. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. A zebra, and these are all related to the zebra. This one's called a zorse. And a wild ass. Sarah is going to help put them into their enclosure. The quagga is the lighter yellowish brown animal. It was one of the six subspecies of plain zebras. And you can see it there. And the zorse is the darker brown one. A zorse comes from crossbreeding a male zebra with a female horse. African elephants and a calf. Their large ears help to reduce body heat. Flapping them creates air currents and exposes the ears inner sides where large blood vessels increase heat loss during hot weather. A female elephant is called a cow. African elephants live in family units comprising several adult cows, their daughters and their sub-adult sons. Each family unit is led by an older cow known as the matriarch. And now for the jaguar family. The jaguar closely resembles the leopard. It is generally more robust with stockier limbs and a more square head. The rosettes on a jaguar's coat are larger, darker, fewer in number and have thicker lines with a small spot in the middle. There are two cubs. Lions have just arrived. And next is the lioness with her cub. Their white fur is caused by a recessive gene and affects the fur or feathers of an animal only. White lions are thought to have been indigenous to the Timbavati region of South Africa. Rhinoceros family. Members of the rhinoceros family are some of the largest remaining megafauna, with all species able to reach or exceed one ton in weight. Polar bears have arrived. There's a young one and its mother and another one that's a 3D one. This looks an interesting collection. A mandrel male. And here's the female mandrel with a baby. Squirrel monkey. It has a prehensile tail which can hold on to branches. And the golden lion tamarind which also has a prehensile gripping tail. Now 
now for some snakes. You can see the green anaconda followed by the boa yellow ball snake. Sarah is going to let them in. It's time to feed the animals. Visitors like to watch the animals being fed. The elephants like their leaves and bark from trees. The jaguars are getting some tasty meat there. You're hungry. The lions are always hungry and start to roar if they don't get their food on time. The rhinos get an assortment of greens. They love to wallow in their pool. You can see these have two horns. They are African rhinoceros. The polar bears are getting fish. That is tasty. Lots of different types of fruit for the primates. Snakes will often swallow their food whole. Please stay and watch another video with me. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.